Holy Quran has recently been accused of inciting hatred, violence, and terrorism. These attacks hinge on taking verses out of context, omitting parts of verses or sentences, and falsifying translations. One such attack is the movie Fitna by Geert Wilders, which cites five verses from the Quran. In part one of this presentation, we will examine these five verses in detail. The first deception of Fitna is that Surah 8 verse 60 says to commit terrorist acts on civilians. <laughs> Not only is this translation false, Fitna then fabricates a false context by showing terrorist acts on civilians that directly contradict the meaning of the verse. Let's examine this false translation. Fitna hides two previous verses, first to hide that them refers only to the treaty breakers, and second, to hide the context of battle. Third, this is a false repetition to give false emphasis on striking terror. The reciter repeated this phrase only to join the meaning when catching his breath. Fourth, the next verse is omitted, which requires peace offerings to be accepted. Now let's examine this passage in context. Those of them with whom thou madest a treaty and then at every opportunity they break their treaty. If thou comest on them in the war, deal with them so as to strike fear in those who are behind them. Make ready for them all thou canst of armed force and of horses tethered, that thereby ye may dismay the enemy of Allah and your enemy. The verse mentions the standard intimidation strategy of the enemy military only in the context of battle against treaty breakers. And if they incline to peace, incline thou also to it. Furthermore, the very next verse requires peace to be accepted if offered. As a result, committing terrorist acts on civilians